The smartphone. 76% of us own one in the UK. So it's no surprise that the emergency services are hoping that app technology could help save lives. And for those on two wheels, that is a very real possibility indeed. The 999 app certification scheme encourages developers to design an interface that will automatically trigger 999 when someone needs help. You hear the horror stories of riders falling off their bikes and not being found for days. Um, we started uh, um, doing some investigation around that to find out well, what, what, you know, what technology paramedics have. And, um, you know, we found that really a lot of paramedics struggle to find riders that have been thrown from the motorcycles. And the problem you've got with something like this, if you do hit something, you are generally thrown. And if you're thrown over, over um, a stone wall and down an embankment, then chances are you're not going to be found. So we quickly discovered that actually the whole emergency service sector didn't have anybody that was looking at smartphone technology. So it was, I think we were very, it was very good for us that we got in there and, and started building this from day one, but we took the right path in actually working with emergency services from day one as well. Given the nature of, of motorcyclists, um, they tend to go out on routes that are quite rural um, and therefore um, finding those types of patients are very, very difficult, um, especially if they're unconscious. This um, app provides data that gives us a location accuracy of about one metre. So even if the rider is unconscious, we're able to get an alert and get the rider to them, um, knowing pretty much exactly where they are. The app has been in development for the last five years and has undergone test after test. We, we got to 10,000 members pretty quickly and that was as part of a controlled UK pilot and we found in the early stages that actually when you give it a ride and say right go play with it they do things that you, you don't expect them to do. So we actually started to introduce lots of different guards and what I've been made by, by a guard is that for example, if you stop at a coffee shop and you're recording and, and real safe, which is the crash bit, is monitoring the phone, what if you drop the phone? All those kind of things we discovered earlier on that, well, actually we needed to put some more guards and we needed some more refinement. If you don't respond and you can't respond, it sends the detailed location data, the confidence level around the GPS, because sometimes GPS can be a little bit inaccurate, the medical information, the phone number, directly to the, um, the nearest ambulance service. And, that, and as a result of last week, when the new app comes out, we're, we're busy finalising the app at the moment, all of those alerts, alerts will pass through the 999 service to the nearest ambulance. You know, once we launch the new version, it's, it's, it's worldwide in terms of uh, route recording. Um, we've got a few other ideas that are, that are bubbling around that we'd like to do, but again, you know, it's, it's been about getting the tech right in this, getting those confidence levels up there for, the, for, for 999. And now it's about adding all of the nice fun features, the new interface, all those tools that me as a rider, I can't wait to use. I mean, I'm the only one using it at the moment, so I'm, you know, uh, I'm getting to experience it. But um, yeah, there's a few things we want to do, but Europe is our next, our next uh, focus. Mark Patterson for Maiden Tyne and Weir.